Valentine's Women of Ag is brought to you by John Deere, who celebrates the strength and resilience of the women who make farms run. Well, sometimes you grow up on a farm and sometimes you marry into it. Whitney Larson had no idea where her food even came from before she met her husband, but today she's embraced the farm life, now cultivating courage and inspiring other women of ag. You almost have to be insane. From unforgiving drought to finally seeing rain, Whitney Larson has learned to cope with extremes. We have been in a catastrophic drought for five years, and so seeing rain has been very, like, like our faith finally paid off. Drinks of water that quenched the soils, but also brought another brutal blow. We did have some very bad hail the last last night and then maybe three weeks ago, and so that's kind of been disheartening. Neighboring fields look like this, while others were barely touched. Yet another reminder, farming in far western Kansas is one planted in seeds of hope and faith. When we first started farming, I found that your faith really has to grow. Larson and her husband Bart are used to dealing with challenges. After all, this is a first generation farm. We call ourselves first generation, so I'm actually third generation removed. Larson has some memories of being in tractors and combines when she was little, but her childhood was filled with sports. I grew up doing all things sports, and so basketball was my life. Her parents, her siblings, they all played college sports. But her husband, on the other hand, his childhood was full of nothing but farming and ranching. It's been in Bart's blood his whole life. It was his dream and it quickly became mine after I saw how passionate he was about it. Farming is all Bart ever wanted to do, and a farmer is all he ever wanted to be. But the youngest of four boys returning to the family farm wasn't an option. We decided to try the realm of custom ground rig spraying, and that's how it kind of was born, was he started a business that led to us meeting new people and building relationships, and then we were able to eventually, we started custom farming, and then we were able to rent some ground of our own. Starting with custom spraying in 2012, the Larsons purchased their first piece of ground last year, a growing farm with a growing family. Our oldest is just turned 10, and then eight, four, and I'm 28 weeks pregnant, so. Everything's growing. But as the operation and family were both growing, Larson says she resented the farm at first. So coming into this where I wasn't in agriculture, I felt very distant or disconnected from this lifestyle. Finally, he, he started pushing me to try more things. But she says that's when it all changed. And once I finally got over my fear of that I couldn't learn this or that I didn't belong here, I really started to flourish in the fact that I can do all these hard things just like he can. From first learning to drive a truck, Larson admits she's come a long way. I do find pride in the fact that if we have something go down or a guy can't come for the day that it's like, hey, Whitney, go hop in the combine and have you run it. So I learned that when Rowdy was a baby. So he was six months and he and I learned how to run the combine together. And it's all thanks to her husband for believing she could. I really thank him for the fact that he pushed me and made me learn things because it has been something that I rely on every day. I say I cultivate courage all the time, but really for me that is learning to do all these hard things. It's that courage she wants to help instill in others. She started sharing on social media in 2017 with the goal to be real and authentic about what goes on on the farm. So I really just started sharing to help others know where their food came from. But that blossomed into much more. It started out as an event for women in ag, but it's really flourished into an event that basically all women feel called to come to. It's called Cultivating Courage. The event this year drew more than 300 women. And from there, Larson's dreams grew even more. So after Cultivating Courage this year, I actually started a women's retreat that I'm going to try to do twice a year. It's called Cultivate. So it's basically a spinoff of Cultivating Courage. And I just hope that more women can hear that word cultivate courage and just do do the things they know they can do but are a little bit scared to try. From a podcast with her now best friend Kylie to even starting an Ag Women Connect chapter in Kansas, Larson is on a mission to inspire others. 12 years ago when there was social media, that wasn't there for me and I just want to be that light for others and let them know that, hey, just because you didn't grow up on this or just because you've never tried it doesn't mean you can't do it. What an inspiration. And if you're interested in attending Whitney's 2024 Cultivating Courage event, details are on her website. That's farmwifeguru.com. All right, when we come back, customer support this weekend.
They run errands and equipment. They bring parts and dinner. They drive the combine and the kids to school. They feed livestock. They fix skinned knees, broken fences. They do the books and lead the 4-H group. They simply make everything better. Celebrate the strength and resilience of the women that make farms run. They make all the difference.